Hello, 9th standard students. Today we are going to study about the components of computer. Components means the basic part of a computer which make it work and understand the command given by the user and uh, with the help of these components only uh, the computer can perform the task according to the user's desire or wish. So the main components of the computers are the input unit, output unit, storage unit, central processing unit which is also known as CPU, arithmetic logic unit and control unit. So this is what I have brought up for you for as a definition of a component of a computer that uh, component is a collection of entities. It may be hardware, software or liveware that are designed to receive, process, manage and present information in a meaningful format. And uh, computer hardware are the physical part or intangible parts of a computer, example input devices, output devices, central processing unit and storage devices. With the help of computer system, which is also known as program or application, they are classified into two classes, namely system software and application software. And uh, here we have also mentioned about the liveware, which means that it is a computer user. So all who are using a computer are the liveware, also known as operator or the humanware. The user commands the computer system to execute or instruction because ultimately it is the user only who is going to work into a computer, no matter how highly configured your computer is, but uh, a user will be the uh, command giver for the computer so the definition of a component of computer means the, all the physical or the tangible parts which can be seen or touched uh, just like input devices output devices and central processing unit so next let us understand about the central processing unit which is very commonly known as the cpu the cpu is the brain of the computer full form of cpu is central processing unit a computer cannot work without it obviously uh, because it is called a brain of a computer and without a brain nobody can work so it takes the, the function of the cpu is it takes the input processes it uh, and gives the output to the user it performs all calculation and takes all decisions the cpu has three sub parts and these are memory unit control unit and arithmetic logic unit okay so let's continue study about the memory unit first the memory unit is the amount of data that can be stored in a storage unit so whatever can be stored into a computer's memory and uh, is the storage unit so memory unit is a storage unit. The storage capacity is expressed in term of bytes. So it defines that how much the capacity of a memory unit is. So uh, the least unit is byte of course. And the control unit is in a computer means uh, it's device that controls the part of a computer processor. The control unit fetches internal instruction of a program from the main memory of the processor uh, or from a computer instruction register, uh, the computer signals are distributed to all smaller and larger elements of the computer that participate in execution of instructions and need to be controlled. The control signals are usually transmitted by the part of the overall system bus called the control bus. So, as the name suggests, that it's a control unit. So, it controls the flow of a data inside a computer. So, what comes in, so where to process those input and after processing, uh, which device uh, is to be used for taking the output. So, this is a, uh, all the processor of a computer has been controlled by this control unit, which is inside a CPU. The third unit and the foremost unit of a CPU or a central processing unit is arithmetic logic unit. An arithmetic logic unit or a ALU is a major component of a central processing unit of a computer system. 
it does all processes related to arithmetic and logic operations that need to be done on instruction words in some microprocessors architecture the alu is divided into the arithmetic unit and logic unit so so arithmetic unit is the main component of a central processing unit because this unit performed all the calculation and logical uh, operations like um, whatever has to be calculated uh, if the input has to be calculated uh, this central processing send those information to the alu so that it will perform the arithmetic calculation or the logic unit also like taking decisions and uh, comparing things that everything is done inside this unit so it is very important and after this uh, arithmetic and logical operation it is sent further to the uh, rest of the component in the cpu that we will study in the this diagram known as the block diagram of a computer so in your book page number 13 there is a diagram uh, and uh, i have brought a different diagram for you uh, of this block diagram in which we are going to study about the um, block diagram and the operation of the cpu so here you can see the diagram of uh, block diagram of cpu which is uh, almost the same in our syllabus book and but it is uh, more expanded form it is in more expanded form and now let us discuss this diagram so uh, this is the cpu which is comprised of memory unit control unit and ALU. this is all the input unit which is attached to a computer through which we will send the data into a computer and uh, then this is an output unit from which we are going to take the result out of computer and we also have a secondary storage devices which may or may not be used for uh, taking the uh, or storing the input in case uh, nothing has to be um, sorted in the uh, cpu part so we will see it in uh, proper order that uh, first the data is sent by the input unit and these input units for example keyboard mouse like pen joysticks these all devices are used to feed the data into a computer and once it is fed into a computer it goes directly to the control unit which will decide what to do with this input with the, because with this uh, input the data the instruction will also be sent and according to the instruction this control unit will see that what has to be done with those uh, input data and uh, if as i said before that if this data has to be uh, computed in, uh, in any calculation has to be performed on them on those data then it will send it to the alu component of it and then alu will do the arithmetic and logical operation on that data and then it will send it back to the control unit and at the same time and when we send the patch of commands to the computer so all those are recorded into a memory unit by the control in it and one by one it will take all those commands all those uh, data and then it will process it and again it will uh, take them back from the alu and then it will send it to the output for a, a result uh, declaration and um, if some of them uh, some of the input data has to be stored then it will send it to the second storage devices so once the data is computed and uh, calculated and uh, after processing uh, is done then this control unit send the data to the output unit uh, and uh, these output uh, units may be the monitor or the printer or a plotter where this uh, the user can see the result of the raw data that he has sent from this input unit so this is how uh, the process it is uh, this process is also called as the ipo this this process is called the ipo so ipo stands for input processing input
processing and O stands for output. So this is the cycle of data that uh, this computer goes through input then processing and then output studying further about the input devices uh, let us study that an input device is a hardware or peripheral device used to send data to a computer as we just seen that uh, why these input devices are used to send the raw data inside the computer an input device allow users to communicate and feed instruction and data to computer for processing display storage and or transmission so an input device is hardware device that sends data to a computer allowing user to interact with and control it the devices which give input to the computer are called input devices so the difference between an input and input devices are that input are the raw data and input devices are all those components with the help of uh, we feed data into a computer all those inputs so we can know further about the input devices by this definition that input devices are devices used for entering data or instruction to the central processing unit are classified according to the method they use to enter data so what type of data we are entering into a computer according to those data all those input devices are categorized or classified so we now we will study about the various input devices available the first and the foremost important device is keyboard as you know that keyboard is the primary input device it is used for typing it is similar to the traditional typing machine called typewriter and it is used to uh, store the name any information uh, that has to be stored into a computer so this uh, keyboard is used for the same purpose and it is used for typing letters words numbers and special characters this is a diagram of a standard keyboard where we can see all the numeric uh, tabs keys special characters so type of keys on the keyboard are and they have the five different categories the first is alphabetic keys numeric keys functional keys special keys and arrow keys so let us see uh, alphabetic keys are the keys uh, from a to z uh, using which we can feed our name uh, and information uh, which is which has to be text inside the computer numeric keys from 0 to 9 means all the numbers that we feed into a computer may be used to feed any numeric data into a computer and uh, we have uh, two rows of uh, numbers the first on the top row above the alphabetic keys and then on the right side of the keyboard uh, we also call it a number pad then third type of keys are functional keys and it varies from f1 to f12 and the use of the function keys varies from application to application it is not always the same but there are some fixed uh, keys like f1 it is uh, mostly this f1 keys is used for the help purposes we, here we can study that the function keys are located at the top of the keyboard and uh, there are 12 function keys through f1 to f12 the function key is the function of these keys can be different for different programs but f1 key is generally used for the help for any application for the next type of a key on a keyboard is multimedia key a multimedia key or a media key is a keyboard key that performs special functions not include with the traditional 104 keyboard it is a special meant uh, keyboard uh, so we have some multimedia keys used to play the multimedia directly from our keyboard it has got the um, common functions like mute raising volume and uh, reducing volume then uh, brightness and playing the media forward backward etc and finally we have the arrow keys on the keyboard which are used for the navigation purposes going up down right and left on the uh, documents so there are four keys and they are used to move the cursor left right up and down so these are the various keys on the keyboard in our next video we will uh, study about the other input devices such as mouse, OCR, MICR devices. So till then, take care and thank you very much.